Colin Moore. He's the Director of Food Services at UBC. Uh, previously, 35 years of experience in food service and retail operations, uh, working for Starbucks, Yum Restaurants, and Walt Disney. Um, here at UBC, he is Food Services Director, responsible for strategic planning and successful operation of all 35 brands and 40 plus restaurant locations throughout the university grounds, including residence dining, retail operations, central commissary catering, two full services restaurants, and a fleet of uh, five plus food trucks. Uh, UBC Food Services is feeding over 54,000 people daily. Please join me in welcoming Colin Moore. Thank you very much, Richard, for um, your invitation and allowing us to host the, is it the 13th Food Talk? Yes. Lucky 13. Um, so thank you for that. The, um, the charcuterie that you had, we did get approval from the World uh, Health Organization. <laughs> uh, so you'll be fine. Like that was the first joke. Um, welcome to City's Restaurant. I wish we had this many people here every night because uh, we can open for dinner. So tell all your friends uh, that it's a great place to come. Even in the evenings, we're only open for lunch and it's an awesome uh, place uh, for lunch. Uh, my name is Colin Moore. I'm the Food Service Director here at uh, UBC. And uh, like Richard said, I do have about 35 years in, uh, in the hospitality business, which <coughs> makes me ancient. Um, my son said to me the other day, my 14-year-old son, he said, he said, Dad, he said, so you're older than the new Prime Minister, right? <laughs> <laughs> I guess to him that was like really old, because Prime Minister was really old. Uh, I started my hospitality career in, as a custodial engineer uh, at a golf course, got promoted to dishwasher uh, about a year later, and then just sort of organically moved my way into the kitchen and never left. Um, so that was the beginning of my, my food service uh, career. And then went off to the University of Guelph and did a commerce degree there and coincidentally worked in food services at the University of Guelph for, um, for quite a while. It took me five or six years to do an undergraduate degree. But that's another story. <laughs> um, so that was a great time when I left the university. I went out and worked for uh, PepsiCo Food Services for about 18 years and learned a lot about some uh, business and salty snacks and soft beverages and very healthy brands like KFC, Pizza Hut, Taco Bell. And uh, learned a lot there. Then went on to work at, at Starbucks for about nine years, which was a, a fantastic journey and learned a ton there. Uh, along the way, when I was at university, I did work at Walt Disney World in Florida and uh, earned my years at uh, Disney College, I think they called it. And uh, that was a great experience. Learned a ton about customer service and quality assurance there. Uh, but most recently I joined UBC and have been here for about well, two years in January and like I say to many, many people, it's the best job I've ever had and I truly mean that. Uh, it's a great place to work, but I probably learned more here in two years than I did in the last 20 in my, my career, so it's a, it's a really amazing place and I want to talk a little bit about that uh, this evening. So I do have about 10 slides, I think. I thought a good place to start would be just to talk a bit about UBC. I know you're not all from UBC, and um, there's some pretty amazing stuff that goes on around here. We've got almost 60,000 students between this campus and uh, our Okanagan campus. Uh, this handout, by the way, is on the back table if, uh, if you're interested. We've got over 15,000 faculty and staff that work here. We've got uh, about 12,000 international students that represent 139 countries, so a really diverse um, place. We generate 13, uh, almost 13,000 degrees in, in 2014. We spun off, uh, 169 companies spun off from UBC Research, and we have uh, generated seven Nobel Prize winners. Um, one of them has their plaque and stuff, Michael Smith, out here in the lobby. Uh, you can take a look out your way out. And we've generated now three prime ministers, or or three, I guess, now with the most recent uh, uh, Justin Trudeau was a graduate from that uh, education here. So there it is. And then we're, we're always um, ranked in the top 40 of best universities. So UBC is a real phenomenal place to go to school and, and to work. So there's handouts in the back. 
Hmm. So what about food services at UBC? So I kind of start want to sort of start with sort of mission and some of the guiding principles of ours, and um, we are an important part of a much bigger agenda, obviously here at uh, at UBC. And I really believe that that is to is really to help create the future and help create future leaders. Um, I always joke with my team that I I hope that students come here because of the food and they just happen to stay for an education. <laughs> that might be a lofty goal, but that's the goal. Um, we do have amazing food here, and uh, we'll talk a bit about that. We are very well connected to to well-being at, at UBC. We're a really big part of the UBC community. And um, but really, our purpose is about generating great connections through uh, service every day. Uh, just a little more about about food services. We do operate a really diverse business. Everything from hot dog carts and food trucks to full service restaurants like Sage. We've got really sort of five major segments that we operate in our retail business. Um, our residence dining rooms, uh, our uh, catering business, our full service restaurants, which we've got two, and then our mobile and uh, concessions business is the other sort of fifth wheel. We are self-operated, so we're, we're the largest self-operated university or college in Canada, uh, where we don't have a third party operating uh, here. We uh, provide about a million dollars in a dividend back to the university, so we're fully uh, funded, self-funded, and uh, we were talking a little bit earlier about you know, the, what the financial model looks like. If I make no money at the end of the year and I pay a million dollars back to the university, that's a really good year. So uh, we can talk a bit about more, more of those challenges. We're about a $36 million business all in for food services. We operate 35 locations. We've got 16 other partners that we operate with, and we operate 31 uh, very unique and different brands here on campus. Uh, we're a franchisee with six companies like Subway, Starbucks, Bento, Sushi. Uh, we've got over 700 employees. And we also, Food Services also operates the UBC card on campus. Uh, most importantly, we have about 4 million customer interactions a year, about, uh, which is about 10,000 a day. That's the scope of the business. This is just a sample of some of the brands we operate, just to give you a sense of the diversity. This is 25 of 31 that currently exist here on campus. Many of those are our own brands that we've developed, and obviously some of them aren't. We didn't invent the subway, although we wish we had. Um, and many of these brands, uh, it's interesting, we get a lot of people in our brands. I was at Mercante today, and uh, uh, the person I was with said, so, you know, is this your brand or is this, did you franchise this from someone? And we really like when people say that because we want to be associated with really great brands and not necessarily, you know, UBC sort of institutional food services. Um, so we really, we really rely on the power of the brands that we've created or that we, that we franchise with. I mentioned we do have some partners that we also work with, so we operate the UBC card and we allow uh, folks like Booster Juice, uh, Brown Social House, uh, Domino's, to name a few, to accept the UBC card. Uh, so if a student comes to their business, they'll take that, the UBC card as a payment. So we operate that business with, uh, and, and that business is growing uh, at about 16 partners now. Many of those partners are operated by uh, AMS here on campus, the Alma Mater Society of the Student, um, student group so we um, we have exclusivity here on campus with pretty much everything outside of the, the student union building where um, the AMS has uh, the uh, rights to operate food uh, businesses there we're also uh, really well connected in the UBC community and we make that a, a priority we're home of uh, the Whitecaps FC2. Has anybody gone to an FC2 game? No. Come out and see it's great soccer. They're the farm team of the of the Whitecaps. We also um, have the Whitecaps training here, and we uh, we feed them. We articulate with uh, the UBC Learning Exchange, which is our downtown east side campus. I like to call it. 
and um, we uh, work with them on hospitality training and education. We are the exclusive uh, food provider for UBC Food Service Athletics and Recreation in all of their locations on campus. We work on uh, a project with uh, the Faculty of Land and Food um, Systems, and David Kitts is here tonight, and he'll speak uh, a lot about that. We're leaders in sustainability, and uh, Vicki Wakefield's here tonight, and she'll talk about that. And we're also one of the biggest customers of the UBC Farm, and Veronique's here tonight, and she's going to tell you a lot about the exciting things that happen, happen over on the UBC farm. Okay. So the, the last couple of slides I, I thought I would just share some of the stuff that um, we think we're really good at and then some of the stuff that keeps me up at night and challenges us. Uh, and I suppose many of the challenges will be similar to what you face in the industry, but our strengths are for sure our business diversity. Uh, like I said, we operate hot dog carts uh, we sell sushi, we sell Thai food, um, we sell West Coast modern cuisine here at Sage. We create many of our own brands and we feel that that's one of our, one of our strengths. It's obviously cheaper to create your own brand if you can, uh, save some royalties. We partner with uh, six franchisee uh, uh, operators. We operate the busiest triple O in the world here at UBC and the busiest bento sushi in the world. Uh, although I don't think they have any outside of Canada, but <laughs> call it the plan. The um, we do have uh, exclusivity, like I mentioned here on campus. We've got lots of growth happening. We're very fortunate to be a university that's uh, that's growing, and that is unique when you look at other universities across Canada. Um, we're building a brand new uh, student residence called Orchard Commons, where we'll be opening up a, a brand new restaurant there in uh, the summer. We do have amazing culinarians like uh, David Spite, who you're going to hear from tonight, and um, that uh, is something we're really, really proud of. So those are just some of our strengths. I won't go into any more. Uh, we do have lots of challenges, and um, like many of you, we face cost of goods inflation. It's like the tide. Um, it's like aging, it's relentless, and uh, it's a battle that we all face with uh, commodity prices and protein and produce these days. Uh, I've been saying that for 30 years in the business and I'll probably say it until the day I retire. We do have, um, uh, our workforce is two times the average age in the industry here at UBC. Um, so we have an older workforce, which presents some challenges. We also pay, as mentioned to some folks earlier, we pay about 100% premium on our, uh, on our labor. We're a fully unionized labor force. Um, so our labor cost is over 50% of our P&L. So that's something that we, um, that we need to work within. Uh, it's difficult to attract talent too, and I, I know you've seen that in the headlines these days, to especially culinary talent and to get great talent out here is a challenge for us. Um, the other challenge for us, as much as we're growing, it's pretty limited. We could probably open 10 Starbucks uh, and 10 uh, Tim Hortons, but we just don't have that many locations. So uh, capacity is a, is a challenge. We get challenged every day on can you be more local, can you be more sustainable, can you be more fair trade, can you be more organic? And that's great, uh, and it's a challenge that we've got to face. And, uh, and oh, by the way, you know, deliver better value. So, uh, there is some competition on campus, as much as it's closed campus, the new student union building called the Nest that just recently opened. Uh, we've got many new, a few new cafes on campus, we've got a new full service restaurant at the student union building um, that keep us on our toes. Uh, we're happy that we're still comping in our sales for the most part year over year, so there's, there's lots of untapped business here at the university. Um, what else can I tell you? There is certainly that uh, allergy epidemic that continues to challenge us going forward, and um, uh, that's something that uh, that faces us in terms of food safety and quality assurance all the time. So those are some of the some of the big challenges that we face. Um, we can probably talk all night about that, but I'll, I'll leave you to ponder those uh, and think of some great questions for the Q and A. But I'll wrap it up and uh, simply say uh, again, thank you, and we're super privileged to operate as the uh, food service provider here in UBC. It's a fantastic place, and uh, hopefully we get some good questions. So, 
uh, those are my remarks, and I get to hand it over to Richard or yep. me? Me. Richard, all right? Thank you.